Hello, this is a video in the interactive pen series of videos. In this video, I will show you how to calibrate your projector to work better with the pens. Uh, there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. If you're tall, you can hit the menu button on the projector here. Uh, do this and I'll show you guys. You can hit up there and hit the menu button. Uh, me, on the other hand, I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, so I don't think I'll be doing it that way. Uh, the way I would do it is to hit menu on the remote here. So we hit menu and we want to scroll right on down to extended. Go over to easy interactive function and you want to hit manual calibration. Ooh, manual calibration have a pop-up that comes up you would want to say yes to it and what this does is it causes dots to appear on the screen you have to walk over and hit the dots you can use the pen or you can use your hand and that process just looks like this you want to try to hit the dots in the center the best you can actually it looks like it is going to require me to use the pen so I would want to if it detects my pen that would be great you want to hit it in the center every time because the closer you are to the center the more accurate the calibration will be so you just continue to hit these dots they will appear across the whole screen eventually uh, I believe it's five rows of dots across one second and I will tell you how many it is down. I believe it's a 5x5 five five grid it makes. And it is exactly a 5x5 five five grid apparently. So you just continue to hit these dots. Again you want to hit them as close to center as possible for the most accurate calibration. Once you hit the last dot here, you're all set and ready to go. You should now be calibrated. Uh, if I walk over here, you can see that it pretty accurately mimics where I am hovering over the screen. And that is how you do a calibration on the interactive pens. So your pen should now be pretty calibrated with the board. So I hope that's helpful for you, and I hope you have a nice day.